After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. One quest I completed in the last episode which I kept a secret from you guys was Bon Voyage quest. This quest gave me access to Fossil Island, an island where I'm gonna spend a lot of time in this week. Alright, first thing you always do in the Fossil Island, you build the chest. We need to be able to bank here. 250 construction, thank you very much. There is actually so much content here on Fossil Island I still need to discover. One of them being Volcanic Ash Mining. Apparently this is 20k GP per hour just by mining here. Alright, and that's 500 volcanic ash. We're gonna sell this to a general store and see how much we make. Usually this volcanic ash is used for farming, but in this case, it's used for simple GP. We can sell these for 80 GP each. Now it's 40 GP, 20 GP. Uh, so yeah, let's just sell all of them. From 30 minutes we made 11k, I think. Another thing we need to start doing in Fossil Island is birdhouse runs. So let's make a workshop, build the workshop. We're gonna make some clockwork mechanism. Clockwork, there we go. Make another one, and another one, and another one. There we go, we got four clockworks now. Birdhouse runs is one of the main things you do here on Fossil Island. It's so simple, but it's so good experience. Alright, he's AFK. Come on. Come on! Oh, he's running! He was AFK, a PvP hard crime man! Birdhouse run number two for 39 Hunter. Beautiful. After this birdhouse run, I uploaded my first ever episode to this series, and within just 24 hours, I received plenty of donations, increasing the bounty for killing my hard crime man to 621 million GP. Alright, this will be the first time I log in since I uploaded the episode. Oh, here comes the spam. Oh my god, look at the spam. Look at all the people typing. Thank you so much. Casket, good luck. Absolutely not. Ooh, Larus. We're having our mining event here. And there's a guy level 18. Level 18 Ragger. Just killing us skillers. Our hard crime and skillers. So we gotta be quick. We got 105 Stardust. Thank you very much. With the stardust you get from shooting stars, you can actually get four different items, but there are two items which are useful for PvP locked hard crime and, and those are bag of full gems, crafting experience, and then we have soft clay pack, teleport tablets in the future. You can see that I'm changing activities all the time and this is pretty necessary for a PvP locked hard crime and you can't let anyone know what you're doing. And that's gonna be a nice little 35 crafting. We can now make teak birdhouses. I don't really know how this works. Do I just trade this to civilian, right? Oh, it's that easy. 200 difference. Next big grind I'm gonna do right now, I think I'm gonna smash it out straight away, is 43 fishing for aerial fishing with bluegill. This gives me both fishing and hunter experience. And of course, I wanna smash out hunter as quickly as possible one hour and 45 minutes later we got 43 fishing and i'm gonna stay here until i get 53 hunter what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch on blue gills giving us both fishing and hunter experience and i'm gonna stay here until i get 53 hunter uh, for shinchampas which we are eventually gonna move on to quick stop to west rd for 200 difference thank you very much buddy there we go, we took a break from Hunter to complete the quest Eagle's Peak. This allows us to use box traps for Shinshan Pass and it also unlocks the Eagle transportation system. Alright, this will be my home for the next 1 hour and 20 minutes. Look at this, 224 Hunter experience per lizard. We will be able to hunt Shinshan Pass in no time. the hell was this oh my god it was quick i was looking away i was watching a video i was not expecting that double msb coming in 
Pascal Fetissi, the classic 10 HP 50 range account with an MSB imbued. The max hit of a magic shortbow is 28. My HP is 32, so he can't one hit me. And the interval between hits is 2.4 seconds, meaning if I'm AFK for 4.8 seconds and he gets two MSB specs out on me, I can die. An Earth Tiara! That's great, we needed that for... Oh my, I'm so lucky. Uh, we actually needed that for the Varrock Diary. Who even... S That's awful. Oh my god! What? It was a scout! There was two of them! Wait, how did they know I was coming here? Was there two of them? I don't know if you noticed, but there were actually two MSBers here in the Wizard's Tower in Multi, but only one of them attacked me. So if the other person also attacked me, I could have died right here. I've realized that now that I only have two teleport to house tablets left, I need to use the plugin menu entry swapper. So that means I can right click my chronicles right away for an instant teleport. Uh, surely they will have left at this point, right? Okay, there's two scouts I'd say. I don't really want to use the free to play PvP world too often, but I feel like it's necessary this time. There we go, 10 rune crafting. We can now complete the diary. And there we go, Varrock Easy Diary have been completed. Varrock Diary completed, there we got a new lamp, we're gonna put it straight to hit points, any levels. 33 hit points. And we got some Varrock armor as well, uh, this will be our new fashion scape. Oh, Alright, looking, whoa, that's a nice looking vest. Looking like a shad. 200 death runes for another kitten, thank you very much. Alright, we, we found a shooting star here in Fossil Island, what a great event. We do love these shooting stars. Oh my, we got that easy close scroll. Beautiful. We get splash runes. Okay. Alright. Another casket. Nothing useful. Do I see that in the sky? Is that a flying bed? I think it's a flying bed. Yep. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Oh, Hamgard. Iban Blast account 10 HP. I'm not sure about the max hit, but I don't think he can one hit me. Mongol main playing, this should be it. Take it, take it. Oh! Triple Sharks! That's a great drop! New best in slot food, let's go, baby! And this is why we need High Hunter, because you never know what you're gonna get. Why, why is there an account? And that is 50 Hunter. Oh, I see rank 1. All right, it is time to start with cutting. We are here. I don't know if you recognize this place at all. Um, this is in the middle of Zaya. Big milestone, 49 wood cutting for 600 total level. All right, this should be the final log. 50 fire making, we can now do winter Todd. Uh, I'm extremely tired. I haven't logged for three hours and 30 minutes, so I'm gonna be quick. Let's do winter Todd until I fall asleep. Hey, we got ourselves a crate. But no one's here. Are we gonna get lucky here? Ooh, a broom, a torch, and burnt pages. Thank God, I'm so tired. I actually got nothing. All right, another crate for nothing. I think we can complete the the, the desert diary now. Kill a vulture. Have Narda herbalist. Blah blah blah. And this should be uh, the, the Easy Diary completed! Five strengths, we have completed the Easy Diary. Leave the dome. Alright, Achievement Diary completed. Uh, I think we're gonna put this one on the obvious choice, say it with me. Hit points. For one hit points level, we are now 34 hit points. Ooh, 51 Hunter. We're slowly getting up there. Two more levels and then we can catch in Chompas. 52 Hunter, one level to go. Here is an MSB here. Ah! Ah! I'm out of rain. Oh my god. Step number four of the medium clue scroll. Please be a casket. We got our first ever casket. I know I'm not getting any boots, but some teleports, potentially. 
I got a bucket helm. Winter Todd is really good passive construction experience. Look at that 30 construction. We're slowly getting to the goal of 50 construction. Can we get some pyromancer pieces? Another Bruma torch. 59 fire making. Are we getting anything? We got a lot of coins. This is the guy who owns the MSB year that tried to kill me at Wizard's Tower, so I'm kind of scared of this man. He's he's a smart man. From this supply crate. We get ourselves teak logs. That's great. All right, look at this. Another 200 difference. All right, this should be the level. 53 hunter. We can now catch Shinshan pets. Here we are mining shooting stars in the PvP world. Only three skiller baby hardcore diamonds. <laughs> After mining that shooting star, we are now at 1.8k stardust. I think I deserve this upgrade. A rune pickaxe. 32k. Alright, is this the casket? Yes, we got two caskets. One beginner and one easy. We start with the beginner's one. Rune Skimitar Ornament Kit. And from the easy casket, we do get ourselves a Ceradomin Page. After completing those two clue scrolls, a generous man by the name of Rata donated 430 mil, putting my hard crime and bounty to 1 bill and 51 mil, turning my hard crime man into the rank 1 highest bounty in the game. And that's the Lambridge Cook completed. For recipe for this asset, we are only going to do one subquest, and it's going to be the dwarf subquest. We came here for one reason and one reason only to complete Mountain Dwarf completed. 1000 Slayer experience, which is what we needed. Alright, here I am in Lava Kenge. If we get 65%, we can ride the Lava Kenge minecart network. And that's 50 mining. All right, we have currently 20% Lava Kenge favor. I think that's enough for now. We now have the requirements for the Forsaken Tower, but before we start this quest, we're going to get ourselves an item which is very needed for the future. All right, so I'm doing the Taibo one I trio quest for a poisoned spear, and we only got one chance of successfully cooking this Karam one. If we fail to cook this one, we will have to get ourselves 65 fishing to get ourselves some more Rock around once. Alright, we are in the Hosidius kitchen. We got one chance. I'd rather restart the account and get 65 fishing. So here go, 3, 2, 1. Thank you! Thank you! Yes! And there we have it. We have ourselves the steel spear poisoned. That's all we needed to move forward. And there we go. Forsaken Tower have been completed. This quest granted us 10% Lova Kench favor and a new teleporting method. For the Khaderi's Memoir, you can teleport to Lava Kenj, which is just up here north. If you want to play extremely safe, you can get a NPC to just box you while you mine. Uh, this way, players can't really attack you. There we go, 65%. We are done with what we wanted to do here. We can now use and ride the Lava Kenge minecart network. I feel like all PvP hot crime men don't show their transportation and teleporting methods in the game, but I'm gonna be completely transparent when it comes to it. Uh, I'm gonna show you every teleport and every transportation method I do unlock in this series. One of the locations we can transport to is here right east of the Arceus library. Another location is right here south to Piscarellius. Another location we can transport to, Shazian, right here. Did you see that bot? Another one. And the final location to unlock is actually raids. So now I can just transport myself to these five different locations by paying 50 GP at a time. All right, fellas, don't ask why I'm wasting experience by kicking a dummy. Obviously, I could do quests. Uh, I don't think this will affect my gameplay. I'm getting combat eventually and uh, Yep, I'm just wasting combat experience right there. Just boxing a dummy. There we go Five attack. That's all we wanted. Look at the spear. We have unlocked the Karam one spear with the spear I can damage six with poison very very useful with this one, we can kill the quest NPCs and not gaining too much combat experience. There we go, we hit something, it might be poisoned. There we go, took a while, but we got the kill. And now that we have completed Priest in Peril and gotten ourselves 15 combat, it is time to explore a new land. And that land shall be Mauritania.
And by the end of this episode, the bounty increased by 100 mil, then 30 mil, and then I like it big donated a twisted boat for the bounty. These donations put the bounty at a total of 2 billion 275 million GP. And now, once again, I am out of membership and I will rebond this account once this video hits 7,000 likes.